Hello! We are back once again for more Hogwarts. We're getting straight into it because I have been so excited to do Sebastian's quest since last game. So, let's see where we need to go for that. Oh my goodness. We have to go so far. Uh, we've never been this far. Okay, well, we're gonna be flying for a while because the closest flu flame I have is this one. <laughs> Sebastian! Oh, there he is. You made it. Why are you giving me sass? He's giving me like the side eye. Enjoying the view? Probably Keeping an eye that. on things. <laughs> Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. Oh. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. <gasps> My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Oh, he's not Possibly happy. with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Okay. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. Um, I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Okay. This way. Um, lead the way. Oh, he's running. Whoa. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Well... Can we blame him? Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm assuming... I've seen rumors that Sebastian gets evil, and I'm assuming that's because of his sister. I think. I'm, I don't know what else it would be. Mm. Hi. Aha! <gasps> Sebastian, where did you... Is that... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Right. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. Why the sooner he... you accept that reality, the better. What? what? But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> what is happening? Now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Leave. Okay, this is really awkward. Like, why am I here to witness this? Also, I don't feel like that was Sebastian's I'm sorry fault. You had to see that. I feel like that if you was don't mind, the dad, but I just need a moment alone. Yeah, okay. Say that. Oh, Sebastian, not the visit he'd hoped for. Um, I have to go back in there. Okay, I guess I'm going back in. Hey. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Girl, it's okay. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. Yeah, like, it's nice um... to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian <gasps> told me about. He's talked I about am. me. Sebastian and I met my first day at Hogwarts. In the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. Oh, it's his uncle. It's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an exora, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Yeah. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. But what's the hurt Sebastian trying? cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. No. No, I... Oh, I... <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. 
I wish you well. <sighs> okay, where is... Oh, here he is. Hey. That boy will fray my last nerve. Well, don't... Excuse me, Mr. Salad. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my Excuse nephew. He me. doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Okay, well, I don't want to say something and then he get mad at me, you know? So I'm just going to... Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Oh. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. Well, I don't really have a choice because they kind of are coming after me. But I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let it go. Okay. <gasps> Maybe that's where this is going. So, like, I'm trying to fight them and figure out what they're doing, right? Maybe once we do that, it's gonna, like, undo her curse. But then I wouldn't really understand why I've heard rumors that Sebastian turns evil. But I don't know. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne oh, and Sebastian. Like... They are my stubborn brother's children. <laughs> Especially Sebastian. No. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants. He's no uh, idea uh, the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Okay, I get it, but also, I hope you like... remember what I've said. Good day. Okay, I, I hope don't to like see him. How Sebastian's faring. I don't like him at all. I gotta be honest. Hey, Sebastian. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. I just want to say I am on your side, okay? Like, wh why does it hurt to try? How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Uh, it's not your fault. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, I do kind of think he was out of line. You know what? This is the first time I'm going to go with my gut and not just try and be nice. <laughs> I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. Oh. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. I don't think there's any changing his Ranrock's mind. loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Okay, yeah, can we, like, move? <laughs> if I'm supposed to follow you. What is going All on All the debris here? you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Oh? I have a feeling the main quest is going to lead me here at some point. Up there, oh, duh. on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. I'm saying that as if this isn't part of the main quest. Oh. My screen just went blank. Okay. We're good. How much longer are we <gasps> expected to dig for this rubble? Ramrock knows Gosh. what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. A good wizard is a hey dead wizard in my book. Oh! Sebastian! Leave him alone! Did he do it? Uh, I didn't complete a single one of the things. Mistake. Wow, you look so menacing just standing there. Hi. I confess. Ooh. That was a bit more than I bargained for. Um, I tried to warn you. That was more than I bargained for as well. Hey. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Yes. Couldn't agree more. 
This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. Girl. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Wait. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. There might be the is. only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Yes, please, actually. They seem to have set Can up camps here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Okay, I feel like there's something suspicious going on with the ministry anyway, so I'm not really that surprised. Always armed and ready for a fight, Renrock's loyalists. Sebastian, what exactly am I looking for? Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries uh -oh. ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. I already did. Oh. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged sure. by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Oh? I think we need to get in here, but I don't really know how. Sebastian! I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? Huh? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Girl, what do you mean? Explain now. Huh? Sebastian. This house did belong to a Hogwarts oh, professor. Oh, wait. Hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted <gasps> section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. Oh. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following I you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood <laughs> after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. That's about right. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. Yeah. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Okay. Look at this. Yeah, there's Someone a little thing piled in the wall. this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Let's go. Huh, a stairwell. Please don't have a... Oh, that's an ominous stairwell. Mm. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There Did might you already be go down here? here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Sebastian, Tells me where are after you? Something bigger. Are you already down here? Ah, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Sebastian, where are you? Lumos. Yeah, these are the icky worm thing. Oh my god, you're already down here. Holy. 
It is my second week in the camp, and more arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all that they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. Journal entry of his adores. I should hold on to this. Probably. Oh, there's more behind the house. Book just scared me. Two of seven? I traveled here to learn, but I longed help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope, will I forever regret not, le oh, not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of a heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a for- for Oh my god, I can't talk. Consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Aha! Lewis. Excuse me. Oh. <gasps> Is this one of the mirrors that they can talk to you through? You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Oh, dude. Like it's real. Why is he standing like that? Strange. Honestly, nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. Mm -hmm. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, better understand. invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. Okay, I I'm don't... I'm tempted to hold my breath. I think you'll be fine, buddy. Ow. I don't understand. <gasps> I think he had his spiky little fingers coming at me. Why would the door lead us here? I honestly don't Sebastian, know. Sebastian, look. <gasps> How did you guys see that the last time? Is that why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Um uh, I got nothing. I mean it's the like magic symbols, but anything helpful in the note? No. <laughs> a rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the Keepers. I've been thinking. A Keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? Probably. I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Fair. Mm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Oh, perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention Good. it? Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium oh. here in Hogwarts. You did not. Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I have no idea our visit to see Anne would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. Yeah. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. You're welcome. I'll be in touch. Till then. 
Well, that was interesting. Well, we still need to talk to, um, Kool-Aid. <laughs> I said last episode I'd start calling her Kool-Aid. It's Adelaide or something like that. And then we need to talk to Serona. Let's talk to Miss Kool-Aid first. Hey. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh, dear. It is Adelaide. You see... My uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, oh. Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Why ask me though? Should I be worried about my uncle or am I overthinking this? Girl, I don't know you. I don't know your thing. But, I mean, it, it is Ranrock. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. Why is that She's to her? convinced he can handle himself. But I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's alright. I... Ugh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Well, <laughs> I don't try to be, but... Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. <laughs> but he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. No. He does it for me. That was dumb. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. Well, that's nice, but not might not matter. I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls. To let me know that he's all right. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping. Notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to how it did last time. When we found the like random lady, you just did. What on earth? Mm, well, this is going to be fun. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. Hmm, should I take them by force or be discreet? Oh. I haven't successfully successfully done like a stealth thing. Oh. Uh oh. Oh my god, they still didn't see me. No way. No way. Hello? Oh. Uh oh. Someone there. So arrogant. Well, that. Okay. Find out what happened here. Mr. Oaks's trouble okay. journal. Renrock's lot agreed to me, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended their request and were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their plan and gobbledygook. <laughs> They're after my rare metal deposits that are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile. And I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can work out a compromise. Perhaps not. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a not. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps... Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Uh... Sure. Oh, oh my god, who are you? Oh my god, a random man? Are you good or are you bad? Hello? 
um, I think at least neutral. <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, more people I have to fight. That's oh my god! Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arrest the woman. Hit him. Okay, there's one. You left one guy to guard all this. That seems dumb. Ow! Leave me alone. Did I just kill him? How did I just do that? <laughs> uh oh. Well, how is this fair? <gasps> how nice of you to stop <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I think you just fell. <laughs> Did you just fall to your- Ha ha ha. Oh, you're gonna give me what I deserve. Hmm. Something tells me you're not. Cause I always win. Oh. I won't You've one less follower than Rock. Oh pff. I just got sassy real quick. Okay. Is he like <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, that's not funny. But I just hear the whistling thinking he's like back there. <laughs> just like doo doo doo. Let's just get rid of you. Bonk. Oh, did you dodge that? Haha. <laughs> Let's do this first. <laughs> Oops, I fell. Ow! You call that spell casting? Get me out of this corner. Who's that thing? Done now. I'm thinking. Did I get all of them? Thank uh, the Lord. You only have run to blame. Oh. <sighs> that was not fun. Oh, we found his wand. This must be Mr. Rooks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. <gasps> Stop it. Look at the hat we just got. Oh my god. Let's continue on. I say let it run. Not quite. Why did you say I get frozen? Let me dodge. all of them don't fret um they actually don't exist anymore so you're good sorry i just had to make sure i was Hello. got everything mr oaks yes i'm here they've taken my wand this cell has an enchanted lock i have experience with these locks but i need my wand if i have any chance of opening i have it look for a boiler door i've heard them speak of it Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. <laughs> Please, pass me my wand. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. It's my last hope. Please. Here you go. My wand. Oh, thank you, Merlin. Thank you. So, like, are you gonna come out? Hi. You did it. Oh, you found my wand and... Wait. You're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Man, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried friend? about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. 
Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you. Truly. You're welcome. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever oh. since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. Well, um, am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. Huh. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I, her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'm I'll good. be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Yay, okay. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. <gasps> oh, you're still just here. <laughs> what now? Can I just leave? Am I good? Like, do I not have to talk to her or anything? I'm gonna assume I'm done. Well, you know what? We're gonna end it here. Um, next time we'll t we s we have a lot going on right now. Um, but before I get into something that's gonna take us another like 40 million minutes, we're gonna end it here. Um, yep, we're calling it good. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had fun. Yeah, the usual. Um, <laughs> but I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts. Bye.